Has the weekend with Buzz worn you out? Oh, that noise. Um. <laughs> it smells mm. like a fart. <laughs> Little mold wine. Ready? Oh, there it is. Merry Christmas. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 4. It's the 4th of December already. Can't believe it. This is going so quickly for some reason. I've got a little mark on my jumper where I spilled waffle on my hoodie yesterday. <laughs> and it's making me want a waffle. <laughs> I slept in a bit longer this morning. By longer, I mean I wasn't awake at 6am. I was awake at 7am. <laughs> Came downstairs, edited, unpacked my suitcase because we got back last night. We were so tired that we just left it. So I've been doing that, watering the plants. Hello. You having a little stretch? Oh, why are you being so cute today? Are you tired? Has the weekend with Buzz worn you out? Has it? How many people feel like Nala right now? <laughs> You're adorable. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Do you know what? I'm gonna wait for Alfie to get back before we do the advent calendar that um, Amanda and Nick made for us. But I am gonna open my chocolate ones. Bought myself two because I couldn't decide. <laughs> I love me a Cadbury's, but I also do love me a Thornton's, so I went for both. Oh, that noise. I swear I say this every year, but what is that? Is that an elf? Mmm. Um, four. Oh, four's a big one. A little snowman. Look how cute that is. Where's three? Oh, there it is. This one doesn't want to come out. It's a little Rudolph. And four. Oh, a little tree. Mm. I don't have one for Nala this year. So maybe when I open mine, I'll just give her a little treat. Oh, what's this? Are you going to sit? Good girl. Lucky Nala. That was the little chocolate boost I needed. Um, I've already edited my video and done all that. Alfie's nipped into the office. So I think what I'm gonna do, I've got, uh, I think this is Father Christmas, no, Santa Claus 2, I think. Um, but I think what I'm gonna do is run myself a bath because, what was that for? I'm gonna run myself a bath, is that okay? <laughs> because I haven't had one in ages <laughs> and I really feel like it. So I'm gonna do that, maybe catch up on some other people's first days of vlogmas as well. If there's any one else's vlogmas who you really, really enjoy watching that you think I will enjoy watching, let me know in the comments. I'm gonna use this, my Zoella Beauty Milky Way bar. <laughs> Look at that. It goes so nice and milky. I've got dressed, sorted my hair out. I haven't done my face yet because I kind of want to do a bit of a makeup bag change up, which I kind of get into a bit of a routine with my makeup and then I don't remember to try out new products that have come into my PO box or 
change out my lipstick, I get very boring <laughs> and I stick to the things I know and love when actually one of the things I really love about what I do is that I get to experiment and try out so many different products and I just haven't really had the time to sit and kind of go through it in that way, mainly because this is what the room looks like where I do my makeup. <laughs> um, <laughs> you're right in there, Nala. So this is kind of things that have come to my PO box and then from the office, we've brought them back here and just left them here. Um, it's also a lot of my own products, which I need to put in here. <laughs> And I just haven't done it yet. So this morning, I'm going to try and do a little bit of that while I have the chance. Um, but also, I just, I know it's going to be one of those things that takes a really, really long time. And it will be really satisfying when it's done, but it's just that initial, like, starting it. Do you know what I mean? Let's try and, like, at least tidy this up a tiny bit so I can see the makeup. <laughs> because I'm only just getting around to seeing some of this P.O. Box stuff that I think has been sent to me a really long time ago um, I just loved this box. It's from Cult Beauty, which is a website I have been ordering from uh, since 2015. It's basically where I get any of my like more high-end skincare or if I really feel like I want to try loads of new things, I'll go on their website and just like order loads of stuff. But anyway, they sent me a lovely box for their 10-year anniversary and I just thought it was really cool. There's this on the front and it says, Hi Zoe, to celebrate our 10th birthday, we're giving you a present. A very special box brimming, brimming with the best-selling beauty heroes from every year since we started scouring the globe a decade ago. It all started when you made your first cult beauty order on the 16th of April. 2015. So far we've shipped you 24 bags of beauty. That's a lot guys. Oh geez. And your very first cult beauty haul contained Tata Harper's Tata's Daily Essentials, Tata Harper Rebuilding Moisturiser, which I still use. I've repurchased that three times. Yes it's expensive but it is the only moisturiser that isn't too heavy, keeps my skin completely balanced and I absolutely flipping love it. And Seminin Precious Serum. I don't remember that. I feel like I used that a lot in the old house but I haven't reached for that recently. Sunday Riley Good Jeans. Used to use that all the time. I stopped using it because I wasn't sure if it was one of the reasons my skin was behaving badly and I've been a bit scared to go back to it since so I still have it and I absolutely loved when I did have it but I'm just too scared to use it now because I use such gentle products on my skin. And the Tata Harper Hydrating Floral Essence. Basically one massive Tata Harper haul then. One product you kept coming back for more, your most reordered item is the Davines Oi Shampoo and Conditioner, which is my go-to shampoo and conditioner. So I just thought that was really interesting. I'm gonna also have a look what else is in this box because it looks very exciting. What's this? Oh, it's rock. I don't know if this will still be okay. Do you think it will? I mean, it's essentially just sugar, right? Not sure about the biscuit though. Okay, so we've got the Oskia Renaissance Cleansing Gel. Absolutely flipping love this cleanser. I use this with Lizelle and also the Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser. Those are my three kind of go-to cleansers at the moment. Oh my God, I love this bag. This is amazing. Let's try and open this. The biscuit, very cute. Probably not edible anymore. <laughs> We'll pop that down there. Oh, what is that? Meet the accessory you never knew you needed. Ah, it's a pop socket. Love that. Stickers, keep them for the scrapbook. Oh, Molecule 01. This is my, like, holy grail perfume. I absolutely love it. If you are watching this and you are stuck for a gift idea for someone, whether that is a guy or a girl, this perfume 
is beautiful. That's my gift idea if you haven't already got someone a gift. A beauty blender. What's this? The Green Balm by MOA. Ooh, that sounds lovely. Then we've got the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade, which is what I'm currently using on my eyebrows, so amazing. <gasps> Oh, I love these. The Huda Beauty Liquid Matte. I also think I use this. Bloody hell. Basically just everything I use. Oh, the Alpha H Liquid Gold. I used to use this when I lived back at my dad's. That's how long I've been using this product. Again, it is another product I'm a tiny bit scared to use just because I've been so gentle with my skin, but it is an amazing product. Um, the Anastasia Brow Wiz Skinny Brow Pencil. Also amazing. What's this? RMS Living Luminizer. Oh, I've never tried this. And then a Huda Beauty <gasps> Rose Gold Palette. I'm gonna have to crack this open and have a look. Okay, I've not lifted it yet. <gasps> oh, that's cool. Oh my God. This is beautiful. <gasps> I might do my makeup in this today. Cause after all, that is the reason I came upstairs is to try and dig out lots of new makeup from my PO box stash. So I think I might be taking this back downstairs with me. Thank you so much, Cult Beauty. That is such a lovely gift. And this is the perfect travel makeup bag. Um, sorry it's taken me this long to open it. <laughs> I am such a fail, but that is lovely. Thank you. One other thing that I just uh, found were these Makeup Forever eyeliner pencils. They are so beautiful i even kept some blue ones guys because i'm kind of digging a blue eye do you remember last summer um i wore blue eyeshadow a fair bit i'm gonna keep the blue ones and try and get a bit experimental and then this lovely nude one i feel like could be a good waterline contender such a lovely idea i love those so i'm basically trying to make piles um because i keep a lot of my makeup up here now and skincare um, and when the room's a bit tidier, it's really easy to find everything. So I've made like a pile of things to take downstairs. I've made a pile of skincare, a pile of books to take down to the um, bookshelf, and then a whole host of makeup. And there are so many foundations I really wanna try. I think foundations are one of my favorite things to test because you very quickly realize what is a great formulation for you and what isn't. So the ones that I've been sent that I'm quite excited to try is this Dior one. This is Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. Now, this is obviously gonna be a very light coverage because it's a face and body product. <gasps> that is literally seeping. Oh my goodness, okay. Let's pop the lid back on you. Kind of wanna do a bit of face fake tan tonight. So I might put that on if I like my skin tomorrow, on a good skin day, let's just say. This, which is the Benefit Hello Happy Soft Blur Foundation, which is a sheer medium coverage with an SPF of 15. Um, it's just really cute. Uh, I've not seen any reviews of this. I know it came out quite a while ago, but yeah, I'm excited to try that. Um, I already know that I love this. This is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation, but I believe they released lots more shades this year, which is really exciting. Um, so I definitely think this is probably a summer shade, but they did send me a couple, so I'm gonna have to go a couple of shades lighter than this. Um, but this foundation's incredible, so I'm really, really happy that that's been reintroduced into my life. Laura Geller Filter First Luminous Foundation. Anything that says luminous, I'm sold especially this time of year because my skin just looks dull as F. So I'm really excited to try that and I know that that's my shade. I might try that today actually. And then another one which I'm so excited about, you guys know how much I flipping love ColourPop and the fact that they're now doing foundations and concealers. Side note, the concealer is amazing. Um, I'm so excited to try their foundation. I love the bottle. It's got like stars on it. Um, again, they have such a great uh, shade range. This is Fair 35, so I'm gonna give that one a try. I actually kept the press box it came in so I could show you, but these are all the shades they do. So I would say that's a pretty good variation. And I really love when brands send these little tiny kind of samples so that you can actually decide which one is the perfect shade for you, which is why I keep this really, because if any of my friends wanna try it or they they want to order it i keep these but also in summer uh i can still test with these to get a new foundation shade so i'm gonna keep oh i'm gonna keep that 
those are the foundations i'm excited to try i think i might do the luminous one today i am in absolute desperate need of getting my eyebrows done like i don't think my eyebrows have ever been this overgrown also going to get my hair re-dyed next week which i'm excited for because as you can see it's kind of fading back to blonde which sam did say was going to happen to be fair she said you're going to need recoloring in three weeks and i've not seen her in like seven so it is about time but also it's grown so long and it's at this length that i'm just not loving it's like it's not long it's not anything and it's kind of flat so i'm gonna go back short again still haven't tried this this is the nars climax ma uh, ma mascara mascara Oh, I've done that thing where I've kind of just made a lot of a mess and now I'm just like sat in it. I've definitely made progress. Oh, oh we've got a Lush box here. I've definitely made progress, guys, but <laughs> as they say, can't make an omelette without breaking eggs, so... Oh my gosh. Okay, so these are flipping cool. I went to the Lush factory recently and they showed me these you can literally paint bubbles with them oh my god i love that one so this one is candy which is like the candy mountain scent this one is a mint smell which is very new for lush i love that they use these packing peanuts but i actually hate packing peanuts i don't know why i think it's just because they're so impossible they all have a mind of their own and it doesn't matter where you want them to go they'll always just go where they want to go oh here's another one this one is lemon i didn't think i would like that one but i actually really do i'm not usually a citrus gal what else have we got in here oh my god this one you dip and then you can blow bubbles through it that smells lovely too it's another spinny spinny do you like this nala what do you think that smells like do you like that right well we've definitely cleared out two bags so now i'm sure when i go to the office later holly's probably going to fill those up and make me come back with some more <laughs> okay i think we've done enough for now haven't we should we go downstairs now and put some makeup on get ready to go okay it's time to put some of this makeup on. First of all, I'm going in with my La Roche-Posay Effaclar Duo, which I put on every single day. And I don't put that in any concentrated area, I just put it all over. But generally, my chin is like problem area for me. I look tired. <laughs> Next up is what I was talking about a minute ago, my Tata Harper Rebuilding Moisturizer. And I just do a couple of pumps of that. One, two, three, four. And rub that in. One question I'd love to ask, actually, if any of you know. I feel like this is a bit low. I might try and get you a bit higher. The only problem is the lighting is not great from this side. That's better. Okay, so one question I'd really like to know the answer to is how long should you wait for your moisturiser to sink into your skin before you start with makeup that's my question because i'm about to start straight away yeah. i'm gonna go for the laura geller filter first let's see how we get on with this lovely stuff. nice consistency um, i'm also using this real techniques complexion blender brush which looks like this i've not used this before this must be fairly new don't know if it's for foundation I'm going to use it for it. Hmm. It's nice. Maybe one shade too light, but it is nice. Does anyone else with a dog freak out if you're in the house with just the dog and they're just barking at nothing? Because that is me right now. Okay, I really like this. It's not as um, luminous as I thought it would be, though. It's kind of matte. Maybe that's just my skin, or maybe you need like a bit of sun flare or a flash of a camera. I'm kind of digging it. I might just go in with a beauty blender though because I'm going a bit streaky and I don't know whether that's the foundation or the way I'm putting it on. 
Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of this concealer, which is the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. Kind of love how big this is. Love how big the applicator is. I'm just gonna put that under my eyes. God. Around the nose and on the chin. This is too light for me, as you can see. But I'm gonna blend it and just hope for the best. Is that not what most of us do? I don't really want a powder, if I'm honest. I don't love powdering, is that weird? Sometimes I do it and sometimes I just really don't want to. I think I'm gonna bronze instead. Actually, I'm gonna contour first because this palette was in my PO box and this is the Soft Focus Light Sweet Warm Light Shoe. No, that's all the names of the colors inside the palette. This is the Studio Mac Fix Sculpt and Shape Contour Palette. Lots of great shades in here. I'm probably going to have to go for the lighter sculpt, because let's be honest. Okay, contour done. Loving that. I'm um, going to go with a bit of bronzer. The bronzer I've been using at the moment is this. It's the Clarins Splendors Shimmering... Oh no, Summer Bronzing Compact. I really love the bronzers that come out with the Clarins Summer Collections. I tend to just use these all the time. I like that with that foundation you can still see like my moles and things. That's impressive. I'm now going to use some of this. This is the NARS Orgasm Illuminating Loose Powder. I know a lot of people shy away from loose powder. I actually think half the time, oh my god it's gone everywhere. <laughs> And that is why <laughs> I actually think half the time a loose powder gives you much more of a pigmented um, product, if that makes sense. Probably doesn't. Okay, so I took off the sticky thing and now it's all in here, so I'm gonna have to very lightly dab in there. I love that. It looks very pigmented on camera. It doesn't look as pigmented in real life. I think it's the lighting. Now for eyes. Oh, I'm excited about this. Oh, actually, I was going to try and use this Benefit Brow Contour Pen. I think this looks a tiny bit gimmicky, and I love Benefit Brow products. But I'm not sure how this would work, but I, I kind of love the idea of it. Let's go for the darkest shade first so they do say you start off darker oh my god this is so pigmented wow okay they do say start off darker and then gradually get lighter i've gone straight in full-on dark there haven't i it's like a powder pen Oh, I like this. I did not think I was gonna like this. Now I'm gonna go with the lighter shade. Twist that up. And go in a bit more. I think it's just because normally pencils really drag. When you've put foundation on and you've got a bit of like leftover foundation in there, which is why I've been using the dip pomade recently. And I think it might be because I kind of want my brows to be a bit darker now, my hair is darker, um, and the pomade is very thick, but I do have real like gappy bits. And this is when I need my brows really doing. Okay, so now we've got a definer. To be fair, they've done an okay job at covering the hairs. I actually really like that. Well done, Benefit. Okay, moving on to the Huda Beauty palette. Okay, oh, God, I just love this. The possibilities are endless here. I really love the rose gold. I think I'm going to go for the rose gold, you know. That is beautiful. Right, now we want a blendy brush, 
Ooh, what colour do I want to blend? Okay, eyeshadow done. Gonna use one of the Makeup Forever pencils. This is in the shade Free Burgundy. Oh, lovely. I would never think to put this colour on my eyelids, mostly because I wouldn't want it to look like I've got some kind of like eye infection. <laughs> okay, eyeliner done, and I actually really like it. I'm gonna put a little bit of this pencil in the inner part of the eye, and that is Boundless Bisque. I'm hoping it's gonna make me look more awake. <laughs> now I'm gonna go in with the NARS Climax Mascara. Never tried this before. In fact, I don't feel like I've ever tried any NARS mascaras before. I basically just live in Smith & Colt Lash Dance. It's like my absolute favourite. It's actually sold out on Colt Beauty right now and I'm kind of sad about it because I don't know where to get it from. I'm going to make my, my like last bottle last a really long time and hope that they've not like got rid of it. Okay. Oh yes. Love that. Okay, now I'm just going to put... Is this focusing on me at all? This is my new camera, there we go, bloody cannons. I'm gonna put a little bit of this on. This is the NYX lingerie, oh, it's a gloss. Hell no, it's too windy out there for a gloss. I'm gonna do this. This is the Coco by Kylie Cosmetics matte lipstick in the shade Bunny. Okay, I'm done. Just finding out what routines Joe's got this week. Even though I already know. I want to see what everyone else has to dance. Do 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 And in slightly better light, this is what all the makeup looks like. The eyelashes look great, and the eyebrows actually. And the eyes. Right, okay, well, there's me done. I am now heading into the office because we are celebrating Holly's birthday tonight. And in celebration of Holly's birthday, there's this little Christmassy, I wanna say it's not a market, but it's like a big tent with like hot chocolates and things. So we're gonna go there, which I'm really excited about. And then there's a street or a pub or something that has carols tonight and fake snow. And that is right up my street. Also, just quickly, I wanted to show you what I picked up from Sissy Boy yesterday. So, first thing I got was this polo neck, which I really like. Like a mint green and a dark green, and I really like it. Uh, then, I got this jumper, which is a dark forest green with lovely gold threads running through it. I got this t-shirt, which has a embroidered leopard. And I got this top kind of a cardigan but I think I would wear it as a top with these really cool um with this really cool collar and then the sleeves are really pretty too look at the sleeves so cute and that's like a shimmery green and then I picked up this teddy coat it's cropped has little pockets and it's in this really lovely cream which I think I'm gonna wear tonight look how cozy my living room is right now this is like my favorite time of the day it's about half three so it's just starting to get dark you've got the nice lights you can see the fairy lights out on the driveway and then this i just bloody love it and it's really warm and toasty you're gonna look after the house I am officially wrapped up. I shall see you later, pup. What's under there, bear? Literally nothing. <laughs> Are you tricking everybody? What is it? No, there's nothing there. There's nothing there, bear. Literally flat and dirt. <laughs> I'm now in the office. I don't really want to take my hat off. Maybe I should, because then I won't be, um, I'll be, cold when I get outside and Holly's got some of my PO box stuff out to go through because I took one of the empty bags from the room upstairs <gasps> oh do you know what every year this makes me so excited shortbread 
Blinky, great game for Christmas. I love this. Ah, so these bits are from Rock and Rose. I already love this headband. Lots of jewelry. Let me see. Some little hands. It's gonna focus. Probably not. Oh, look at this. None of this is gonna be in focus. It has a little um, rose on it. Do you think I can wear a necklace with this? Yeah, I reckon. Look at Alfie in Blogosphere this month. I just said this in his vlog, but I'm gonna say it here too. This is my favorite picture of him. Wait for it, this one. I think this is my favorite picture of Alfie ever, ever. Just opened this and I thought it was part of a press release, like a rose that they'd sprayed. Nope, this is an actual highlighter. You dust your makeup brush over the top of it. That is so pretty. It's by Longcomb and it is the uh, Starlight Sparkle Iridescent Gold Highlighter. That is so pretty. How on earth do you even begin to make something like that? <laughs> Got this gloriously festive stocking from Nails Inc. Look at their Christmas packaging. This is so cheerful. I love it. What's this? Oh, is this a pack of face masks? That's cool. Mm -hmm. I really like these. Nail polish. They're lovely. <gasps> yeah, lovely colours. Thanks, Nails Inc. Christmas flavoured crisps. We've got Brussels sprout flavour and turkey and stuffing. I'm going to try these. Do you want to try these? No. <laughs> no, I do, yeah. What ones are you trying first? I'm going to go in for a Brussels sprout. That sounds awful. It mm. smells like a fart. <laughs> it actually smells like a fart. Oh my god, this tastes more like a green bean, like a runner bean. That is a runner bean. <laughs> I, want, I need them to show your face. Isn't that weird? I don't have vegetables, I don't want my crispy taste like vegetables. No, I don't want more. You did just go in for another. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna like them. I actually really like the Brussels sprout ones. I really like when they bring out new flavours. Mmm. Not them. Um, Are they good? Like the roast chicken ones. I like these ones more. Alright. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Should we let everyone else try? All done in the office and now Alfie and I are heading down to meet the rest of the office members basically to celebrate holly's birthday at what's it called i don't know something it has like a name but Thorn or something like that isn't it but they're Thorn. tents right like yurts or think, something i don't know if it's just one big one do you remember the first time we ever came to write what you said no you have to remember oh when we walked out of the train station we walked out of the train station and zoe went it just smells like a seaside town. No, I said it. This feels like a seaside town. Like and it I looks was, like a seaside yeah. town, and you were like, "It is." I was like, "If we carry on this road for another two minutes, we'll be on the beach." <laughs> yeah, that wasn't my best move. I didn't really know Brighton was by the sea. I don't know why. Of course you did. I don't think I did. Of course you did. Brighton was not on my radar. I lived in a tiny village in the middle of nowhere. Look at that. Ah. Oh. Look how pretty. I love my little city. It's actually not mine. I feel like a bit of a traitor saying that because no, I, I wasn't born here. You've been here five years now, haven't you? I moved here in 2014. Oh, bike. Once you've been here five years. Once I've been here five years. I feel like. Okay, one know. more year then, and then I can say my. Maybe not. Maybe I can. Never Maybe. can. Well, I mean, you live here, so you can just say it now. Look one how day. cool this I is. Pretty sure. Wine. Got myself a little hot chop. <gasps> yes. This is so delish. Cheers. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> so we are now at the Eagle where we're all going to sing some carols. What's your favourite one, Lottie? I don't know, but either way, I'm going to go full opera. <laughs> 
Bro, my ass. Bro! Oh, you guys look so cool. <laughs> It is, isn't it? Um, I really enjoyed those sing-along carols, Everyone Christmas so songs. Happy. This is all like Brighton. This is like when the World Cup was on. Do you remember how happy everyone was? Yeah. yeah. And pride. We're heading back to the car now because we need to get home for our little doggy. And it's quite cold, not going to lay. Hello, monkey! <laughs> you excited? Yes, yes, yes! Right, I am going to end this vlog here because I am super cold and tired and I'm literally just going to take my makeup off and get into bed and I have a really busy day tomorrow. So, hope you enjoyed this vlog. Give it a thumbs up if you did and I will see you again tomorrow for day five of Vlogmas.